My dear, I know you must have a great deal on your mind right now, but I need to speak with you. You know as well as I how far the Inquisition's influence has spread, and how desperate the Grand Clerics have become. Our opinion will be instrumental in their election of the new Divine. I thought that might be coming after the Grand Ball. The Inquisition may not be invited to their vote, but our actions will certainly influence the Grand Clerics. To sit on the Sunburst throne, a candidate should have grace, charm, and a will of solid steel. Cassandra may lack the first two, but unless you can think of someone better, she is the strongest choice. What would your ideal divine do with her power? The most important thing, of course, is the restoration of the Circles and the Templar Order. The institutions that have protected Sadus for ages must be rebuilt and the malcontents utterly crushed. We cannot allow anarchists to threaten the lives of the innocent. After we have restored sanity to the world, there will be time to address voices of dissent. Where can we find candidates outside of the Chantry? There must be someone other than Liliana or Cassandra. The Chantry is already desperate. They would not look to unordained women if they had any choice. You may have better luck searching the halls of the Imperial Court. There are many women serving the Empire who have the necessary presence and acumen. I'll have to think carefully about this. Don't worry, my dear. I have complete confidence that you will guide the clerics in the right direction. We will have to be very mindful of everything we do and say, for the Conclave certainly is doing the same. If they look to the Inquisition to provide a sign of the Maker's will, we will have to give them the right one. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, you are aware of his crimes. The decision of what to do with him is yours. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. Using your ties to the Underworld to free me. You're a criminal, same as me. The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. I wish there'd been another way, but my options were limited. You could have left me there. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? You have your freedom. It cannot be as simple as that. It isn't. You're free to atone as the man you are, not the traitor you thought you were, or the warden you pretended to be. The man I am. I barely know him. But he... I... have a lot to make up for. If my future is mine, then I pledge it to the Inquisition. My sword is yours. If I'd said anything less, would an arrow from the rookery have snuffed me like a candle? Take your post, Tom Rainier. I do not believe a reminder is necessary for this accused. Her capture and disgrace could not have been more public. Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon, although her titles are among the dignities already at risk of forfeiture. You spared her life despite her treachery. What becomes of it now falls to you. Out of your element, Floriane. Welcome to the Inquisition. My party. <sighs> Despite her posture, Lady Florian has acknowledged your authority. Should I curse you on behalf of the Elder One? I realize he had no intention of honoring the Concordats I manipulated. Do as you must. 
I respect your mastery of the game, even as I despise your victory. Celine does not know her fortune. She remains a creature of formality and opportunity. We have use for both. Grand Duchess, Josephine will see that your wiles profit the Inquisition. Don't disappoint. Oh, one must remember that the game is never truly over, your worship. Yon, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed. The Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. I won't allow it. I can't. Indeed, should Corypheus succeed, do not doubt you would be first to feel his holy wrath. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers? You'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? You overcome it, all three of you together. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Liliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus's army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> Such confidence. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please, lend us your expertise. Here's why I came here. Although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? The Inquisition began as a handful of soldiers. Thanks to you, we're now a force that will topple a self-proclaimed god. I could ask for no finer counsel, no better guidance. I speak for all of us when I answer. We could ask for no finer cause. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvian.
Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Do only what you must. We need enough people for a celebration when we get back to Skyhold. We will not fail you, my lord, no matter what comes. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? They show me respect, Morrigan. No one mistakes me for the Maker. True. You are far more likely to come to their aid than a Chantry fable. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the Illuvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. We are aware of... Inquisitor, I hear this Illuvian lies in a temple nearby. That's where the fighting will be worse. Andraste, keep you safe. Move everyone immediately if the fighting comes closer. You may count. Good luck. We are gladdened to see you, Herald. This day will be recalled for ages. We are privileged to witness the fulfillment of the Inquisition's purpose. The sight of our Orlesian allies risking their lives here humbles us. Your worthy cause would have friends, even if we did not will it. Men and women of faith serve you. Their favor is no less than our own, their service no less dear. With Orle at your side, we will see you victorious against Corypheus. May you walk in the light. how close the fighting's got. It will be worse ahead. If the soldiers aren't careful with their fires, they'll do Corypheus' work for him. Come on, let's go plug some assholes. Do you sense the magic crackling? Something more powerful than the Red Templars stirs.
of those enslaved is adamant. If they are forced to obey him, death will be a blessing. There, ahead. An entire camp of Red Templars. Watch out. They've posted archers on the wall. Methal is not deserted after all. Perhaps these creatures are the reason few return from the Arbor Wilds. <laughs> 